Steve here, and this is your dormer plan you posted a while back. I haven't had a chance really to look at it, but <clears throat> um, you got a lot of things going on here that are not working real well, like your missing fascia, and I think the soffit's actually missing there too, but um, this wall is kind of odd. I'm not sure what that's doing. Painted the fascia here, wrong color, and these dormers, you got like part ceiling in the here. And if you look at it right here, like if I focus right there and I go inside, your dormer goes down to the floor here. Not a good thing. And you've got a lamp here floating in midair. Eh, no big deal. Uh, we've all done that. Um, so I thought I'd attack this and show you a few things. Okay, Bob, the first thing I'm here on your second floor. And the first thing I did was create a new layer set called floor plan shell. And I just turned some stuff off and um, just so I could see a little better. But the first thing I'm going to do is take these two roof planes. I just highlighted them both right here. And I'm going to move them up to the third floor. The next thing I'm going to do is delete all these. You got a lot of things kind of goofy on this plan, but it's a it's an aggressive plan, so I'll give you credit for that. You're plugging away. <laughs> that that's the other thing. This this opening was not centered, and I assume you want it centered. The other thing I notice on this level is these walls don't really line up if you look right here. And I'm going to open your wall defaults here, general wall, and say align about main layer outside. And then I'm going to align these two walls like that. I'm kind of wondering about this wall in general, really. But um, if we go up here to the third floor, it doesn't, if I hit my F9 and turn on you got the wall right here below, but then these walls go in. I'm not sure why. I don't think that's correct. So what I'm going to do is delete these. I, I could be wrong here. I don't know, but I'm guessing I'm going to copy this wall. C Command C. I'm going to paste and hold position and put it in right there. And I'll, I think these are attic walls, are they not? Let me look here. Yeah, and I'll make this an attic wall. And then I am going to delete your dormers. Yes, I know you're probably like, oh, no, don't do that. But I'm going to start fresh. <laughs> I'm going to delete these points. And I'm going to delete this wall extraneous here. I'm going to pull this together. And I'm actually going to move this a little bit down and move this. I'm going to delete that box you don't need it and i think that's all the cleanup i need to do um we can leave these roofs down here where they are and uh, we can get started from there working on the dormers i'm here on the third floor we got the two roof planes right here moved up from the lower floor and the first thing i want to do is find the center of these windows and because I'm going to build I took the your dormers off and I'm just going to start from scratch here so I am going to draw a line out here and then click on this and hit this extend tool and then draw a little fence right through here and then I'm going to cut these control X go up up oh, I didn't mean to do that sorry go up the floor control alt V and paste and hold position and then just draw a little polyline right here and find the center of that and draw a line through here so now I have my centers for my dormers and I am going to put the dormers about three feet back from the face of the roof here so why we're just going to put 36 here and drag this through 
this seems I know a little crazy, but I'm just trying to get organized here. And then I'm going to take the point tool and just place points here. Oops. And then I'm going to take these lines and paste them down below just in case I might need them again later. Go back up. And the thing about this is with the roof planes up here, you can take the auto floating dormer tool and just click right here on this point and place one, open it. Let's change the roof to barrel. I'm going to make the overhang three inches. I'm going to make the rafter depth three and a half. And just leave it at that for now. And then the walls, I'm going to make them, I don't know, 72 by 48. And let's just take a look at that. And there is your dormer. And it's not quite like what you drew, but you see how easy that really is. And I think what the easiest way, there's another, uh, to repeat these, I mean, this roof isn't exactly what you wanted, or at least what you have on your current plan. But, I mean, this is pretty nice, and it actually looks pretty good with your building. Um, I think what I would do before I did anything is copy this and pull it and put another one here and copy that and put another one here and just put them here and put it here and you will have your dormers done uh, I don't know what you want to use for siding um, but you know this is siding for these walls uh, or siding six so that's i think that what's in the default but you could make them siding four i wonder if i just well i've already done them all but um the one thing if you wanted to make this roof look more like the roof in your plan you have to demolish this dormer right here with this tool and then once you do that you can open this roof specification right here and come down here and maybe make this I, I've experimented 78 looks pretty good and make this 78 and it's a little more of a complete barrel roof and then you can open this window here and make the arch a barrel I mean a round top and Either just raise the window a little like that until you get it to where you think you like it. That looks pretty good. And you know, you could always come over here to where is it right here? Corner boards and make these five and a half. I, I like to make them one inch just for fun. And you can trim this so you can put a tr piece of trim on there. And um, zoom in here. You can actually just pull this up so it looks a little better. And um, you can now with this roof too, like this, you could, I think, add a shadow board here and actually make it like a crown mold. Let's just experiment here because I'm not real sure. But like, let's say we take this little, well, maybe this little molding right here and say even gable and just say yes and see what happens here see you get that little trim detail that looks pretty good so there you go um i'm not going to break all these dormers you you get the point there um how easy that is and when you change this roof you might have to re reconnect them right here using the two key yeah did you see what i did there i'll just undo that um, when you, we actually have a gap here, if you see it right here. So I just took the two, I clicked here, hit the two key, got the hole in the roof and hit two and it joins it. It's that simple. So I think the key here is 
move the roof plane to the third floor and then use the auto floating dormer tool and it's a piece of cake. And um, if we, and one thing I wanted to show you on the plan too, is I move this wall back uh, towards the center and that's so these walls wouldn't conflict with this wall. And um, anyway, that's what I did. It still works, the stair, but uh, I, I got it out of the way so these wouldn't crash into each other. And then you can go here and just say delete temporary points. And uh, it's starting to look pretty good. Then when you go down to the lower level, you don't see anything. And uh, I'm using the roof plan layer set, by the way, just to clean things up and work in the roof you know, in case I did any annotations or anything. So um, I hope that helps on the dormer. And you can always take these roof planes then after you do this and use this tool and move them down. It's not going to affect these dormers. They're still up on the, you built them on the third floor and they're still on the third floor. So um, I hope that helps. Uh, there's a couple other things here since we're at it. You're, you know, you're missing this fascia. Plus, I, I don't know what you're doing here. Uh, I, you know, it seems weird that, that that wall is board and batten, but it doesn't have any board and batten on it. Um, not sure how you define this here. You got cream, board, and batten. Let's just look at this here real quick. Um, I'm going to type in batten and see what pops up here in the library. Here's cream, board, and batten. I guess that's what it's supposed to look like. So let's just put that in there. And I think you may have messed with the materials. Maybe that's part of the problem. Yeah. Look at exterior wall, antique. Don't paint your walls. <laughs> so go in here to the library, say use default materials. And it should populate with, a, with the right material now. Well, let's open it again. Something didn't work. Open. Library. Use default material. Click OK. There we go. Click OK. And there you go. So there's your cream board and batten. I'm not sure why you would want to use that, but that's what you want. You got it. Now, why is this fascia missing right here? Well, that took me a minute to figure out, but I'm going to go over here to your floor plan quarter inch annotations and go down to the basement level, this level. And if you go right here and you open this room, you have in the structure tab a roof over this room and a flat ceiling over this room. And I uncheck those and you go back over here to your elevation and not much happens. <laughs> so you go back over here and you check this room right here. No, this room right here. You have a polyline solid in there. There you go. Same thing. I'm going to uncheck that. Then I'm going to go over to this room. And I am going to... Well, it doesn't have it. Now we look at this. And we still don't have it. Well, some of it came back. And I think the... The other part is upstairs here, right here. I'm going to take that off and then it might be fixed. It is. So there you go. That's how you fix your fascia. And uh, this roof right here, um, since now there's no ceiling in this room. Uh, let's see if I put a ceiling in here. What would happen? Well, I'm going to say use software for ceiling and see what happens. Well, we didn't get a ceiling. I'm not sure. I haven't had a chance to look at that yet, but um, at least we've got your fascia back. So, hope that helps. Dormers 101, and uh, don't be afraid to use that tool to move your roof planes where you might need them.
Uh, don't just because you might draw them on this level doesn't mean they have to stay on that level. You can go down here and click this tool and move it on up. And then there it is. You can still move it down. And as you saw before, when you click on it, the dormer, ho dormer holes show up. And uh, so anyway, that's a good that's a good thing, I guess. I'm just going to move them up to the third floor. But um, there you go. Hope that helps.